what is going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's here to break down this week in the NFL, week number two. We're done with baseball. Let's get on to week two. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot. Just out here trying to make some money. Aren't we all? Isn't that the goal for all of us, to try to make a little bit of money? And that's why we're going to start with the Buffalo Bills. Last week, successful against the New York Jets. This week, taking on the Miami Dolphins, and they are a six-point favorite against Brian Flores' team. Josh Allen, you got the good and the bad in week one. You're making on more of the good to come in week two. Yeah, this Bills team looked really excited out there. They looked hype. It got me hype, and I have zero Bills affiliation. Um, Josh Allen, coming off of that breakout campaign last year, um, threw for 370 yards and two touchdowns. Um, on the other hand, the Dolphins didn't look super great. Fitz Magic looked more like Fitz Tragic throwing three interceptions. I know he's capable of good games, but I just don't see it happening here against that scrappy Bills defense. I think the Bills can cover the six. We'll need more good from Josh Allen. As we said, less turnovers, less boneheaded plays. Miami, a well-disciplined team, although Ryan Fitz Magic, as you said, fell apart a little bit in that second half and caused Miami uh, to really fall behind and ultimately lose to New England this past week. We'll see if Buffalo can get the job done against the Dolphins. Speaking of the Jets, who, of course, the Bills beat last week, they're taking on the San Francisco 49ers. And arguably, the Jets looked like the worst team in the NFL last week, while the Niners, well, they got caught against the Cardinals. You like San Francisco against New York, a, a team that was in the Super Bowl last year, to a team that hopes to be in the Super Bowl within the next 10 years. You like the Niners here in Week 2. Conference champs um, and Week 1 losers, I really think this Niners team had a hangover from the Super Bowl and just couldn't get anything done against the Cardinals. They are, however, playing the Jets this week, which is a completely different team, though they didn't look bad last week. Um, that Jets offensive line is just ha no match for a Bosa, Armstead, or Ford. Also, both of those QBs starting their week out, uh, week one with losses. Second week, I trust Jimmy G a lot more not to lay another egg than I do Sam Donald. I think this is a get-right spot for the Niners. I think they wake up here. Uh, they know the caliber of football that they can play, and I think um, Kittle sees a lot of uh, touches. I think Samuel sees a lot of touches. Um, and I think Jimmy G really gets the job done here. Jimmy G hoping to have a better game than he did last week, but I definitely agree. There's a better chance of him stepping up than the Jets' offensive line. No Le'Veon Bell for New York this week. So San Francisco going across the country. You predict them to cover those seven points. A lot of points when you cross the country, but the Jets are that bad, and hopefully the Niners are that good. Speaking of the Super Bowl and teams that are good, what about the team that beat the Niners in the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs? They are eight-and-a-half-point favorites, according to the FanDuel Sportsbook, in Los Angeles when they're taking on the Chargers this week. Chargers barely got by the Bengals in Week 1. A last-second uh, missed field goal by Randy Bullock got them a victory. They're not usually on the right side of that. But Kansas City, they dominated Houston on opening night. They have that extra rest, and they're big-time favorites. Betting on Mahomes – Really never seems like a bad idea. I teased the Chiefs in week one um, just because out of hesitancy, I hadn't seen a football thrown since February, and I'm frustrated with myself, though the teaser hit, because I should never have had any hesitancy towards Patrick Mahomes. The team went out there and looked like they had not skipped a beat since winning the Super Bowl. Mahomes was playing his high-caliber football, and he had a new buddy, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, who took a big part of the workload. I know it's only week one, but I don't think the Chargers are playing anywhere near the way that the Chiefs are playing. I know it's a square play. I know it's chalky. I know it's a lot of points, but I love the Chiefs, and I will not have hesitancy this week. I'm taking them minus the eight and a half. A new toy for Andy Reid and Clyde edwards helaire is very dangerous for the rest of this league. Patrick Mahomes, you never need to really feel nervous. Eight and a half is a lot of points, and you're right. It is chalky. But it just seems so easy, maybe too easy. An eight and a half KC favorite over Los Angeles. And that's what Megan's final favorite pick is. That's a new for us here on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Megan, we appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you so much. Y'all good luck as well. Absolutely. Both good luck when we place our wagers. 
and also when we set our DFS lineup. So we're going to have more help tomorrow with that. And Tom Vecchio will join us to go over some of the value plays that we can put in to our week two lineups. For Megan Nunez, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.